The Indianapolis Colts traveled to the hallowed grounds of Lambeau Field, a stadium steeped in history and tradition. For a Week 2 matchup against the Green Bay Packers, the energy was electric, with fans filling the stands and the air buzzing with anticipation. The Packers faithful were eager to see their team build on their Week 1 victory. The sea of green and gold in the stands was a testament to the unwavering support of the Packers fan base. The Colts, on the other hand, were looking to bounce back from a disappointing season-opening loss. Their determination was palpable as they took to the field, each player focused on the task at hand. From the opening kickoff, it was clear that this game would be a battle of wills. Both teams were ready to leave everything on the field, knowing that every play could be the difference between victory and defeat. The Colts, with heavy hearts following the tragic passing of linebacker Edwin Jackson's father, were playing with a different kind of motivation. The loss had brought the team closer together, and they were determined to honor their teammates' family with a strong performance. They wanted to honor their teammate and secure a much-needed win. The pregame huddle was filled with words of encouragement and a sense of unity that transcended the game itself. However, the Packers, led by their formidable running back Josh Jacobs, had other plans. Jacobs, known for his explosive speed and agility, was a constant threat to the Colts' defense. The stage was set for an intense showdown at one of football's most iconic venues. Lambeau Field, with its storied past and passionate fans, provided the perfect backdrop for what promised to be a memorable game. Both teams' coaching staff were deep in strategy, knowing that every decision could tip the scales. The Colts' coach emphasized resilience and adaptability, while the Packers' coach focused on leveraging their home field advantage. The game unfolded with a series of dramatic plays. The Colts' defense showed moments of brilliance, making crucial tackles and interceptions. Meanwhile, the Packers' offense, orchestrated by their skilled quarterback, executed precise passes and strategic runs. The crowd's reactions mirrored the ebb and flow of the game. Cheers erupted with every touchdown, and gasps filled the air with every near miss. The scoreboard reflected the tight contest, with neither team willing to give an inch. As the final whistle blew, both teams had left everything on the field. The Colts and Packers players shook hands, acknowledging the hard-fought battle. Fans began to leave the stadium, already talking about the next game and the season ahead. Lambeau Field, now quiet, stood as a silent witness to another chapter in its rich history. The shadow of Lambeau loomed large, reminding everyone of the legacy and the passion that defines this iconic venue. Josh Jacobs was the story of the first half. From the very first snap, it was clear that Jacobs was in a league of his own. His explosive speed and sheer determination were on full display, making it nearly impossible for the Colts' defense to contain him. The Packers' running back was simply unstoppable, showcasing a blend of power and agility that left the Colts' defense grasping at air. Jacobs consistently broke tackles, turning what seemed like minimal gains into significant yardage. His ability to read the defense and find the smallest of gaps was nothing short of extraordinary. He ripped off chunk play after chunk play, wearing down the Colts' defensive front. Each run seemed to sap the energy from the defenders, who were left chasing shadows. Jacobs's vision and quick decision-making allowed him to exploit every weakness in the Colts' defense. His performance was a clinic in running back play. Every move he made was calculated and precise, demonstrating his deep understanding of the game. Whether it was a swift cut to the outside or a powerful burst through the middle, Jacobs executed each play with perfection. Jacobs's dominance was evident in his stats. The numbers on the scoreboard told the story of a player who was in complete control. His rushing yards kept piling up, and his impact on the game was undeniable. By halftime, he had already surpassed 100 rushing yards and found the end zone twice. His two touchdowns were a testament to his relentless drive and determination. Each score was a result of his hard work and unwavering focus. The Colts had no answer for his relentless attack. Every attempt to bring him down was met with resistance, as Jacobs powered through tackles and evaded defenders with ease. His relentless pursuit of yardage left the Colts' defense scrambling. His performance set the tone for the Packers and put the Colts on their heels early. From the opening drive, Jacobs established himself as the key player, leading the charge and inspiring his teammates. His energy and determination were infectious, setting the stage for a dominant performance by the Packers. Despite Jacobs' dominance, the Colts' defense showed flashes of brilliance. 
linebacker Zaire Franklin, a bright spot in a struggling unit, made a game-changing play in the second quarter. As Jacobs powered through the middle, Franklin punched the ball free, forcing a fumble. The Colts recovered, giving their offense a much-needed opportunity to shift momentum. This crucial turnover provided a glimmer of hope for the Colts. It was a reminder that even amid struggles, game-changing plays can happen. The Colts, however, needed to capitalize on this opportunity and find a way to slow down the Packers' offensive juggernaut. Unfortunately for the Colts, their offensive struggles continued. The Packers' defense, energized by Jacobs' performance and the home crowd, seemed to be a step ahead all game. The Colts struggled to establish the run. Quarterback Matt Ryan faced constant pressure, making it difficult to find any rhythm in the passing game. The play calling seemed disjointed. Drops by receivers plagued the Colts, further hampering their efforts to sustain drives. The Packers' defense, smelling blood in the water, continued to apply relentless pressure, forcing the Colts into numerous three and outs. Turnovers proved to be the Colts' Achilles' heel in this game. In addition to their struggles moving the ball consistently, they were plagued by costly turnovers that stifled any chance of a comeback. Interceptions thrown by Ryan gave the Packers short fields and easy scoring opportunities. The Colts' inability to protect the ball proved fatal. Every time they seemed to gain a sliver of momentum, a turnover would swing the momentum back in the Packers' favor. It was a frustrating display of offensive inconsistency that ultimately doomed their chances of victory. Adding insult to injury, literally, the Colts saw several key players leave the game due to injuries. Starting left tackle, Braden Smith, left the game in the first half with a knee injury and did not return. This loss further hampered the Colts' already struggling offensive line. Wide receiver Michael Pittman Jr. also went down with an ankle injury in the third quarter. These injuries depleted the Colts' offensive firepower and made an already uphill battle even steeper. The injury bug seemed to be rearing its ugly head once again for the Colts. As the teams headed into halftime, the Colts found themselves trailing significantly. However, there was still a glimmer of hope. Head coach Shane Steichen had time to make adjustments and rally his troops. The Colts had shown resilience in the past. The second half presented an opportunity for redemption. Could the Colts regroup and find a way back into the game, or would the Packers continue their dominance? The answer, unfortunately for Colts fans, would become clear soon enough. The second half saw the Packers pick up right where they left off. Aaron Rodgers, despite a relatively quiet game by his standards, efficiently managed the game, making key throws when needed. The Packers' defense continued to stifle the Colts' offense, forcing punts and capitalizing on mistakes. The Colts, despite showing glimpses of fight, were unable to overcome the deficit. The hole they dug themselves in during the first half proved too deep to climb out of. Injuries and turnovers had taken their toll. Despite the lopsided score, the Colts' fighting spirit was evident throughout the game. Even as the Packers pulled away, the Colts continued to battle. Young players stepped up in place of injured starters, gaining valuable experience. While moral victories don't count in the standings, the Colts' resilience and determination are positive signs. In a long season, the character displayed in defeat can be just as important as the jubilation of victory. The loss drops the Colts to 0-2 and two on the season, leaving them with many questions to answer. The offense needs to find its identity. The offensive line must protect Ryan better. Most importantly, the Colts must find a way to limit turnovers. The road ahead will not be easy, but this Colts team has faced adversity before. How they respond to this early season challenge will define their season. The journey to recovery starts now. The loss at Lambeau Field was a tough pill to swallow for the Colts. The team had high hopes going into the game, and the fans were filled with anticipation. But as the final whistle blew, the reality of defeat set in, and their fans. However, even in defeat, there are valuable lessons to be learned. The support from the fans, despite the loss, showed the unwavering loyalty and belief in the team's potential. The Colts saw firsthand the importance of starting fast, limiting turnovers, and maintaining focus throughout the game. Each mistake on the field was a reminder of the fine margins that separate victory from defeat and overcoming adversity. This game served as a wake-up call. 
the coaching staff emphasized the need for mental toughness and resilience, qualities that are forged in the crucible of tough losses. The Colts have the talent to compete. Their moments of brilliance on the field were evident, showcasing the skills and potential that lie within the team. But talent alone is not enough. It takes execution, discipline, and a relentless work ethic. The practice field is where champions are made, and the Colts know they must refine their techniques and strategies, and a collective will to win. The Colts have a lot of work to do. Team meetings and practice sessions are now more crucial than ever, as they dissect every